Sports. Wizards are on a roll. I don't know when they've started out this successfully. I don't think they've ever started out this successfully, but... You're wrong. How can that be? <laughs> <laughs> it's like ten times a night. <laughs> All right, I think the last time was about, what, 86, 87? No, the last right. time that you were wrong. I was wrong. watching. Yeah. <laughs> I was watching. Right. Uh, Erica was two. Right. <laughs> Not even. All right, so the year was 1974. A gallon yeah. of gas was 55 cents. It was wow. also a time Jim Vance didn't need to wear suspenders to hold up his pants. Hey! Sherwood, Sherwood gave me that one. Okay. Yeah, Erica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he stayed to watch just to hear that one. So thanks, Sherwood. Uh, Erica and Doug, they weren't even born yet in 74. <laughs> the Washington Bullets were 19 and 6. It's the best start for this franchise, and the Wizards are now one win away from tying that mark. If last night was a sign of things to come, this thing could happen. John Wolf was the spark as the Wizards won their fifth straight game. He ended the night with 21 points, 17 assists, his 15th double-double of the season. The 17 assists match with the entire Timberwolves team had as a whole. Fans are aware of how well he's playing. They serenaded him with chance of MVP throughout the game. Deserved. While well, also aware he's stepped it up, but he says he's just focused on the details. I'm just trying to play basketball the right way, you know what I mean? So, I mean, people consider this my best. It's probably the best I've played since I've been in the NBA right now. What's impressive about him is just, you know, his ability to read the game all the time. Um, he's aggressive when he needs to be aggressive and, um, you know, scoring the ball and taking shots and loosening the defense up. And then, um, you know, when they're staying home on him, he's finding his teammates. Yeah, not only are they competing against other teams, they're competing against each other. That is what's making mm -hmm. this Wizards team so good right now. So you, you, we were just talking about, we saw Rasul yeah. Butler there. That also, so yeah, he's proven to be just a great pickup. 35 mm -hmm. years old, tied a season high 23 points last night. All right, some football now. Redskins preparing for Saturday's game against the Eagles at FedEx Field. And while they want to turn the attention to the field, much of the focus is still on the relationship between Robert Griffin III and head coach Jay Gruden. It's like the Shanahan days again. Well, apparently coach is just tired of talking about all this. No matter what I say about Robert, um, it's going to get twisted one way or the other. If I say he's doing great, it's going to be I'm, I'm too easy on him. If I say he needs to, pre he needs to work harder, it means uh, I said he's lazy. Uh, if I said he's working on his fundamentals, it means I don't like him. Um, I got a lot of I, I got I got a ton of respect for Robert, man, I, and for what he goes through as the quarterback position, what he's already accomplished as a young quarterback, and what he's going to accomplish in the future. Can't be easy to be a first-year head coach in the NFL. All right, over to the Diamond now. Reports that the Nationals trading away one of their young outfielders as part of a three-team deal involving the Padres and Tampa Bay Rays. Nats will reportedly send outfielder Steven Souza to Cali. You might remember Souza as the guy who made that diving catch. Remember those guys? To see Jordan Zimmerman's no-hitter against mm -hmm. the Marlins. He was supposed to buy him a car. I think he got like a Best Buy gift certificate out of that whole thing. Well, the Nats would get two minor leaguers from the Padres as part of the deal. All right, so to the pitch. Big deal for D.C. United today. The D.C. Council approved the funding for a new stadium at Buzzard Point, just four blocks from Nats Park. So what's this all mean? Well, for fans, the 20,000-seat stadium will offer improved sight lines, better concessions, bathrooms, all those good things that you want to see out there. And for the team, it's a major upgrade in every area from the training facilities to the locker room. It puts United in a better place to compete for those top-end players. Current members of the team happy to hear this news. I think it's great. Um, you know, it, it kind of puts a footprint you know, is, is you know, something that this club deserves. It's been around since the beginning and all the success that it's had. Um, this, this city and this team deserves a, a new stadium. It only gives us a greater image. Um, it's only going to push the sport. It's only going to, uh, you know, push the interest. Good get, for them. Yeah, you get, awesome. the, you get the tools to be successful. Good for them. How could you not win? By the way, 74 was when Tom didn't need that anti-face wrinkle cream. Uh -huh. <laughs> Did you wait? It, it took oh, four oh, minutes for him to think of that. Thought of that the <laughs> That's all I got to say about that. Nightly news up next. Does he?